Hello, my name's Rory Ridley Duff and I'm making this video to tell you a little bit about a new novel, a social enterprise novel, called The Dragon's Apprentice. Um, I'm an academic and I work full-time at Sheffield Business School, uh, but I'm also a director of Social Enterprise Europe and a co-founder of the Fair Shares Association, which is the organisation with whom I'm publishing this novel. Um, we're doing so to raise some money for seed funding the projects of the association. Um, I'm an academic, so I do a lot of writing, and uh, I've produced quite a few publications that help with cooperative and social enterprise studies. For example, uh, I'm probably fairly well known for understanding social enterprise theory and practice, which I wrote with Michael Bull in 2011, and will be publishing a new edition in 2015. I write a lot of journal articles, so I've just recently had something published in the Journal of Cooperative Studies, something accepted to the journal called Human Relations, and I've written several articles for the Social Enterprise Journal and the International Journal of Entrepreneurial Behaviour and Research. Uh, the problem with all of that is that's fine for undergraduates, postgraduates. These are fine for scholars and researchers, but what can we do for kids in the sixth form or in colleges who are studying business and who don't have access to ideas about cooperatives and social enterprises. They don't understand their principal dynamics. So that's where The Dragon's Apprentice comes in. So this has just been published. You can get it from all good bookstores. Uh, it's available in Kindle edition as well. Um, it's a novel, so it's not an academic text, although there are references to academic works in, in an appendix at the back and a bibliography. Um, the idea behind this is to find a story that young people and college students who are studying business can engage with. So it's a satire of two very popular TV programmes and it imagines what they would be like um, if there had been a revolution in 2018 and everybody got completely fed up with the City of London and all of those, the 1% the that we hear so much about, and, and the population decided that it was going to change things. So it's set in the future, 2032, and it imagines what these programmes would be like if the culture had been changed to one based on cooperation rather than competition and collaboration um, rather than um, a cutthroat business culture um, driven by selfish markets. So I hope you'll find value in this book. Um, I imagine that it will be useful not just to schools and colleges, but also people running courses on cooperative business and social enterprise, such as the Institute of Leadership and Management courses. And also, um, hopefully it will provoke a reaction internationally because it draws attention to uh, things like Lumio, the collaborative, um, decision-making platform and various other crowdfunding, crowdsourcing um, techniques that are becoming popular through the internet and the way that the internet is bringing about a much more participatory democracy. So seek out a copy of the book, share it with whoever you can and I look forward and my colleagues that I, and I look forward to hearing about your thoughts about the book and the way that you're using it in education. Thank you.